Hey guys, it's Mary, and please pardon my appearance. I was not expecting to film today, but, you know, today's video just has to be filmed. Um, let's just say this video, or yesterday's video, rather, could have been my last video if it wasn't for a miracle. Now, I've got Alyssa on my iPad here, and she's going to tell you um, her side. <clears throat> Hi, guys. So, basically, what happened was, and excuse it if you hear me doing stuff or stuff in the background, but basically what happened was, um, she was asked to take out the trash. And the trash cans were in an area that was, um, it was bug, they had bugs, and it also had, um, a bale of pine needles there. Mm. Um, so, basically, mm -hmm. what had happened was, um, Actually, it was on the way back from taking out the trash. Well, excuse me, she corrected me. She was walking on the way back from taking out the trash. She avoided it on the way there. But on the way back, the sun got in her eye. She couldn't see it, and she went down. She bumped it with her feet. She tried to back up. She couldn't back up. She went down. Mm -hmm. And she hit the power needles on her hands. But had it not been for her hands the blow first. My knees took the blow first, then my hands. Oh. Her knees took the blow first, then her hands. Um but had it not been for her hands and knees, I'm sorry, my part is so scrambled. But I'm still pretty shook up about it just as she is. Um but had her hands and knees not taken the blow, she would have flipped and hit the concrete and busted her head open. And if I would have busted my head open, I would not be on this earth anymore. Yeah. So I almost died today. And now, and then her mom, you know, after her mom found out she fell, she was so Mary sent me some messages saying, you know, basically after it happened, which I was in a situation, I'll go into it in another video, um, that I couldn't hear her text messages, but when I finally read them, she had said, you know, basically she fell and then her mom was so remorseful because her mom felt like she caused the fall by asking her to take out the trash and keeping the trash can in an unaccessible area. And, um, so, basically, she put a call me in, which that's what we say when we are trying to say, call me, it's urgent, we use the call me hand emoji. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, that's basically what happened. She called, when I finally did call her back after my situation was done, um, she was pretty much in panic. She was freaking out. I was in I, shock. She was in shock. I had to calm her down. And that was hard. But, yeah, that was what happened today. So, yeah. Um, you almost didn't get a video from me today, which is sad. Um, my life during the incident, my life flashed before my eyes. Um, honestly, I, I thought I was going to die. Um, and then... When I ate a cupcake after the fact, it just tasted like, God, I can't even explain it. 
like like so much better like so much different because when she fell she told me that the whole time she was falling and then even on impact her life her entire life flashed before her eyes it was like i'd never it was like i went back in time to the first time i tried a cupcake and that's how it tasted And I, I, I just want you to know that, you know, this could have happened to anyone. Could have happened to one of you. Life is a gift and your breaths are numbered. And yes, I am about to cry because I, I don't even know why. So and I, God, you God, go. No, you, I insist. If you have a loved one who you're in cahoots with, you're arguing with, you're not happy with for whatever reason, make amends. If you did something wrong, fix it. Open up, open up the gift that is life. Because you never know when it's going to end for you or for someone you love because it could have very well ended for me today. It could have very well ended for me. But by some freaking awesome miracle, I was able to survive. And I didn't tell Mary this, but I could sense the fault. And when I said that I kept praying to God, please let her be all right. Please let her be all right. And her knees are hurting, which they were already bad to begin with, and her palms. But other than and that, as you can and you can see, my right palm is a little bit red still um, from the incident, and my left palm. Let's see, it's still a little pink in one area, but it was red. And that's because not only did they hit the burning cement, but they hit pine needles as well. So not only did I get burned today by the cement, I got pricked by pine needles. <sighs> and so I know what you guys may be thinking. You might be thinking if you watch this video, oh, she just took a hard spill. She's not really that bad. But Mary has hypoperturism, which if you watched her channel for a while, but she should redo it for this channel. Um, the hypoperturism awareness video. I think we did redo it for this video or for this channel. But yeah, we do need to make another updated live stream for those who are new. Um, but if you watch that you know that too much stress can kill her. she could have blacked out after that fall and died um so this is not some over dramatization of a of a little whoopsie she could have yeah, I could have kicked the bucket. Died. Because of some pine needles. And every day... I don't know what you'd call it. Because I'm still... I'm still so frazzled that I... Wow. Yeah, that's gonna happen for a while. Yeah. But... You know, pine needles are like an everyday, um... Obstacle. And hats. Like, they're used in yards a lot, so you don't think, oh, this is a fall hazard for someone with a disability. They can be. If not put down on the same day they're brought into the premises...
They can cost someone their life. So please, if you know someone who is a parent of someone who has a disability, show them this video. And also let them know that anything that could be a trip hazard or a fall hazard, pick it up. Don't just leave it laying somewhere to wait until you're ready to deal with it. Deal with it the day it's brought onto your property. Because that could be the difference between someone getting seriously injured or dying. And someone having a long life. Yes. The same thing, if you wax your floors and you have a disabled person that lives in the house with you. And they're on carpet to stay away from that. Make sure to let that person know if there's even one little wet spot. Because again, that could be the difference between someone's life and someone's death. Yeah. Falls are serious, guys. So take it seriously. I'm just... <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Do a self-evaluation after each fall. Make sure you're okay. Because you don't know, especially paying attention to any weird pain, because you don't know. You may look all right on the outside, but you may have jarred something internally. Like me, when I was in shock, I didn't know what other pains were there. I just knew my knees, which are already bad as they are now, were taking the burn of my weight during the fall. And now they're hurting a little worse because of that fall. I'm just glad that I didn't have my Apple Watch on. Because after the fall, I was disoriented. I was in shock. And they don't give you long to press, I'm okay. And it took me a solid minute and a half to realize what had happened to me. And in that time, my watch would have called EMS. Yes. So, you know, just, um, having fall detection is good, yes. But at the same time, how do I? longer to press I'm okay exactly because not because every not, yeah. sorry go ahead because if not you could get an undo EM EMS call and you know I told and when I came in I immediately told my mom hey mom I fell this is how I fell and this is what happened and I told her I almost died And for, a, and for a while before this, she took my iPad, but she gave it back today. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. But I think what happened to me today really opened her eyes. Um, I just don't right yet know to what. I just ask you, you know, if you have a loved one you're in cahoots with, make amends with that person. Because you never know when it'll be their last days. And yes, I am emotional in this because it could have been my last day today. But it wasn't because of the grace of God. And yes, this experience is very scary and sad. But at the same time, it's brought me closer to God and his love and everything. And I just thank God that I'm here today.
because it could have been so much freaking worse. And yes, I am about to cry. And yes, I am holding back. And I know I've only done like one emotional video and it was about five feet apart. <laughs> or two, The Fault in Our Stars. I don't remember how many emotional videos I've done about movies. But this is a totally different ballpark. Okay, this is a totally different ballpark. <sighs> Alyssa, do you have any other remarks? Because when someone says they almost died and how they almost died, they're not being dramatic. Okay? I got a good look on life, you know? I, 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 um... I will never forget this day. Um... To be honest, this day is probably going to be in my nightmares for the rest of my life. Because of not only how sad and, you know, jarring it was, but this was very traumatic for me. So. I never thought that I'd be doing one of these videos saying, hey, I almost died. <laughs> never thought I'd be ever doing this again. Or not again, but I never thought I'd be doing this in my entire life. Nobody ever does. Exactly. This is something that's, that cannot be foreseen. You never know this is coming. And people wonder why I live so freely, so in the moment. And it's because of what happened to me today. Because I never know when my life would be over. Because your life can end like that. Like that. It can end in a snap of a finger, a blink of an eye. Yeah, that's why when our parents are growing, or when we're growing up as kids, our parents say... Don't wish, wish your life away. They say don't blink and you could miss your child's oh, life. Nice. You could miss your baby's childhood, so don't blink. And that's true about, you know, life, you know. I used to... I used to hate life, but, you know, today I got a whole different look on life, and I will never forget it, and yes, I am trying to hold back tears again because I do not want to cry on camera because I don't want to feel vulnerable because I'm already feeling vulnerable because I'm talking about my near death. <laughs> but, you know what? It's all right to feel vulnerable and to be vulnerable and to open up about who you are. That's all right. You're not wrong. You're not doing anything wrong to anyone by doing it and by admitting how you feel. And, you know, I, um, I never do content like this because, you know, I just, I, I don't want this channel to be somewhere of sadness I want my platforms to be happy. But let's be real. Life isn't always happy and the way rainbow unicorn and tulips. It's not always full of dreams. And that's sad. Yeah. Sometimes Life can be just 
<laughs> exactly. Um, and my cat, you know, I just realized this a few hours or so ago. My cat could have lost her mother today because of some stupid pine needles. And if I were to have died because of those pine needles and Princess would have lost me, she would have been devastated. She would have grieved herself to death. <laughs> because there would be no one here to take care of her because I know my mom wouldn't take care of her. I can't. You know, I feel no, like I have I, so... I would pay if something were to happen to you. I would pay if I could. I'd figure out a way to pay to have your mom airmail that baby to me. Okay. But yeah, you know, I just... And yes, I'm crying because I just can't hold back anymore. And that's alright. You know, she would have grieved herself to death. If she would have lost me. And I can't... I can't even imagine that. I can't imagine it either. But it's alright. Because you're alive. I know. She you. I know, and, and she doesn't even know. She doesn't even know. Nope. Just guys, if you have family members, hug them. If you can hug them, touch them. If you can touch them. Be with them, even if it's virtually, because you never know. You never know when your last days or their last days will be. Nope. You never know. And if you don't like seeing me cry, or if you don't like videos where there's a lot of tears, then this video just isn't for you. So click off. Don't spew hate. Don't get mad. You don't even have to watch. Click off. If you have hate to spew about my sister because of what happened to her today, if you're going to call her a drama queen or say anything negative, click off. Because I won't put up with it. Not only will she report you, but I will too for hate speech. And I, I just, um, I just want you to know that, you know, I, I'm thankful for everything I've gotten in life. I'm thankful for every TikTok follower and YouTube subscriber on all my channels. And I just want y'all to know that you are awesome. And you are the best, you know, fab squad a girl could ask for. And I just want you to know that I'm gonna, I'm, unless something happens, heaven forbid, I'm gonna be stuck with y'all for life. <laughs> You're not getting rid of me that easy. And if you're subscribed to my tech channel, thank you. And this video will be going up on my tech channel. I know it's not my normal content on there. But I feel like the techies need to know what happened to me. And so if I'm not uploading for a few days, it's because I'm trying to wrap my head around what happened to me today. So please forgive me if I'm not uploading for a few weeks or a few months or so. Unless I get a package, then I'll upload, but I, I, I don't know. Like, I need... <sighs> Even if it's just like a day and a half or so, I, I just, I need time. Because I just, you guys know what happened to me and 
I hope that y'all can bear with me. You know, I need all your love and support right now because I'm still in shock a little bit about what happened. Alyssa, do you have any remarks anymore? Or do you, is that all you want to say? Yeah, because, you know, she could have very well, and I, I'm not trying to make you cry, Alyssa, but I'm just, I'm just letting them know the realest. She could have very well lost me today. And she wants to cherish every minute, every second that she gets with me because you never know when it'll be my last. So I'm going to go ahead and hop off. This might be very over 10 minutes to go on TikTok, but, <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Your excuse. I, I will, um, I'll post a shortened version of it on TikTok. Um, so I just, I just want to say thank you for liking, commenting, sharing following me on TikTok and subscribing to all my YouTube channels. Please check out Alyssa's channels, Ali Story Nook, uh, Fab Tech, and The Ali Show. And if you have a child who's a doll lover, or if you're an adult who is a doll lover, check out My Dolls and Me. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And I'm sorry for all the tears. Um, Alyssa, any last remarks? No. All right, then I guess um, we'll end it here. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.